back again with another video the thought just popped in my mind about another video that i uploaded last week the one that was entitled i believe that time that i got stood up so i was just thinking that flakiness is really not a good sign if you ever encounter a person who is flaky you better run it's a sign that the person is that they're irresponsible that they don't respect your time or they may not even respect you as a person <clears throat> it's also a sign that the person may be commitment shy not commitment shy as in unwilling to commit to a long-term relationship when i mean commitment shy they may not, not be able to commit to basic requests or fulfill basic promises or meet basic obligations and uh, it's just not a good look especially for someone that you're just meeting and you're trying to get to know it's not a good impression when you meet a person and it's hard for them to commit to setting a date to do something together or you know they're always running late you might as well just do yourself a favor and just kick that person to the curb and move on because they're not making you a priority. Other things are more important. And like that guy I was I was talking about in the first video, he probably what I was also thinking is that he probably stood me up because he may have been out on a date with someone else. That's what people do. They they make dates with multiple people. They may have one who they're really eager to go out with, who's their first choice, and then they may ask other women or other men out on dates as backups. And just in case the person who was their first choice is not available. Maybe the, it was the case that he asked his first choice out and he was able to actually go out with the first choice and then decided to just stand me up. Another thing that I want to point out is that you should never make yourself too available. I had this situation to happen a few years back where this guy asked me out and it was kind of like a last minute thing or a spur of the moment thing and I wasn't going out with him I wasn't in a relationship with him and we were basically just friends we kind of did like each other so he just out of the blue while I was sleeping in the middle of the day called me and woke me up and asked me to meet him for lunch and I was like nah I'm not gonna do that I'm trying to get me some rest for work you should I'm trying to get me some rest for work you should have enough respect and courtesy to schedule a date of head a plan a date ahead of time and not expect for someone to just get jump up out of their bed or stop what they're doing to meet you somewhere randomly and out of the blue he was like well okay well i understand how about we meet later on today and i was like oh well, i'll think about it i'm not sure you can call me back to be honest i didn't really expect for him to call me back and I didn't take him seriously at that point because that's some fucking bullshit to just call someone up out of the blue and expect for them to drop what they're doing to come see you nothing goes like that if you want to go out with someone you should at least give the person that you're interested in at least maybe three or four days notice and plan it you know plan three or four days ahead or a week in advance ahead don't ever expect for someone to just have their schedule open for you to me when people do things like that it's like they're playing games they're trying to find out if you basically if you have a life if they're the only person that you're seeing or talking to and it's also a way of trying to control and dominate your time don't ever make yourself too available to one person what happened was that he never called me later on that evening and i never reached out to him either i never called him so the motherfucker had the nerve to call me like two or three three days later and ask me why i never called him i'm like are you fucking serious you're the one who scheduled the date you're the one who was asking me out why in the hell should i be calling you you know i don't know if he thought that i was gonna chase him down or be thirsty you know, i don't play those type of games with people i'm always straightforward and honest and open and i expect the same in return from anyone who I'm dealing with or interacting with. If a man can't be straight and honest with me from the, the beginning, then, you know, I just chuck his ass to deuces and keep it moving, you know, because I'm too old for games. What happened is that I guess like 
about three or four weeks passed after that and he called me up and we were having a conversation and in the middle of the conversation he decides he's gonna hang up on me because he didn't like what I was saying you know we were having a, a discussion about family planning and children and he disagreed with my stance on family planning and children which irrational because I'm not married to this guy I'm not dating this guy I'm not in a relationship with this guy so what why would he take anything that I have to say personally or take offense to anything that I have to say because it really doesn't apply to him he just got mad at me and hung up on me I would give him the benefit of the doubt after the call got disconnected well, I thought maybe there was a possibility that perhaps the call dropped or that his battery died. I called him back once and the, the call went to voicemail. So I left a voicemail message saying for him to call me back. But I didn't hear anything back from him so I assumed that he hung up on me. About I say like another month passed and he texted me asking me how I'm doing. And I said, dude, you are crazy. He was like, what do you mean I'm crazy? I said, because you got mad and you hung up on me. And he said, why would I hang up on you? And why would I be mad? I said, I don't know. But I called you back and left a voicemail message to which you never responded. And you never even made any attempts. You know, if it were the case that the call dropped or your battery died, you never even made any attempt to reconnect with me. And I'm just now hearing back from you like a month later after that call. So I assumed that you hung up on me. And I said to myself, maybe this dude has issues or personal problems. So I'll just leave him alone and allow him to deal with his personal problems. So he texts me back, thank God that I don't have any problems. And I just kind of chuckled to myself and I never, I didn't respond to that. So then another two to three weeks passed. And in between that time span, I, I never reached out to him. He, did, he didn't reach out to me. Then after that two weeks, he sent me a text out of the blue saying, Hello, my friend. And I never responded to it. The moral of this video is don't deal with people who are flaky. Don't deal with people who can't honor their commitments or keep their promises.